and welcome to Graphic Online News in Brief. In the headlines, Stambik MD calls for more investment in digitalization to grow the economy. IGP would raise threat to withdraw officers as caught in bullion bonds. Ex-police officer and now parliamentarian says IGP's threat to be taken with a pinch of salt. Ghana engages U.S. marshals to boost intelligence operations of security services. And a new day, another murder as police hunt for gun said to have killed the wife of an aide to GNPC boss. News in Brief is brought to you by. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. And now the News in Brief. Technology experts have met to discuss ways to fully leverage on the government's digitalization drive for development. The platform offered by the graphic business Stambik Bank Breakfast Meeting is the second in the series this year. The breakfast meeting was on the theme, Digitization, the key to unlocking the Ghanaian dream, and provided the platform for experts to explore ways by which technology can be used to reduce cost of doing business in Ghana. The managing director of Stambik Bank, who was at the meeting called for more investment in digitization as it has the potential to grow the economy. Digitization not only changes the way of working, but also accelerates the speed of change that companies and nations are facing. Yet many digital transformation initiatives struggle to realize the expected business benefits and social benefits. Many studies have attributed the struggle to the neglect of organizational issues relating to people and culture, how people adapt to the changes happening around them. These trends underscore the need to consider the new skills and competencies, new approaches to leadership, and the new organizational capabilities alongside a digitization drive. The Inspector General of Police, James Opombuenu, has been meeting with officials of the Bank of Ghana over the spate of robbery attacks on money carting vehicles in the country. The IGP is demanding the immediate provision of purpose-fed bullion vans to secure the lives of officers, providing escorts or the police will withdraw their services. The meeting comes on the back of the latest robbery attack on a bullion van on Monday, June 14, 2021 which led to the death of a young police officer and a trader at Jamestown in Accra. During the meeting, the IGP reiterated his threat to withdraw police escort for such vehicles if fortified armored vans are not provided. And according to the Director of Police Public Affairs, Mrs. Shilakese Abeye Bakman, the IGP has also instructed the Director General of the Police CID to take over investigations into the latest robbery who murder at Jamestown in Accra. The IGP has directed the Director General CID to take over investigation into the armed robbery incident that happened at Jamestown, the attack on a bullion van which led to the death of a police officer. We are appealing to the public. We know that there were eyewitnesses. We are appealing to the public to support our investigation, give us information so that we can arrest the perpetrators as soon as possible for them to face the consequence of the law. We have put out phone numbers. One of the phone numbers is 26 We also have 244 0244-2800-01. Call the police. These numbers will go directly to the investigative team. You also know the police emergency numbers, 191 or 18555. Still on security and safety of policemen in line of duty, the Member of Parliament for Wild West in the Upper West region, Superintendent Retired Peter Lanchene Tobu, who is also a Member of Parliament's Committee on Defence and Interior, says what Inspector General of Police should do is to immediately withdraw policemen from escorting money carting vehicles and not issue threat to do same close of June 2021. The IGP saying that they should face up these makeshift vehicles that we now call bullion van. By the end of June, it's a statement that he cannot stand for. It's a statement that will expose him because December 2021 will come and this issue will still be pending. They will not have enough bullion vans to face up all these 
So it is not a statement to make. Still on security, the Vice Chairperson of Defence and Interior Committee of Parliament, Ophelia Mensa Hayford, says the committee is consulting with the United States of America Marshals to boost the intelligence capacity of Ghana security services. My committee will, will take it up. In fact, we've taken keen notice of this, all the happenings around. And as I rightly told you, we've met earlier on and uh, discussed a lot. We've met with some marshals as to how to get the state apparatus trained in intelligence gathering and then fighting crime as well. The police in Kumasi are on a manhunt for six armed men said to be responsible for the murder of one Benedicta Pukwa Sapon at the airport runabout in the early hours of June 13. The deceased was the wife of Nana Ose Ajiman Prempe, an aide to the Ghana National Petroleum Commission Chief Executive Officer, Dr. K.K. Sapon. The incident reportedly happened at around 1 a.m. when six armed robbers aboard a grey Toyota Camry shot her through the right side of the White Range Rover she was traveling in and sped off towards Abuabo. The deceased husband, Nana Prempe, was said to be driving in a different vehicle just ahead of his wife when the incident happened. According to the police, although the incident looked like a robbery that went wrong, they are not ruling out contract killing as the motive behind the act. Thank you for watching. We will see you again tomorrow with another edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at GraphicGH. I am Juliet Echan Safo. Subscribe now.